Hello Canadian gardeners, cool climate gardeners, and gardeners of the extremes. How are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I am a soil scientist with a plant science minor and on this channel we take that science and we apply it to all things gardening and plant care. So if you like the sounds that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and let me know what zone you're in because it helps me engineer my videos better towards my audience. If you are returning, thank you so much. I appreciate you to the moon and back. The channel has grown and it's not because of me, it's because of you, your comments, your likes, and your subscriptions. So thank you, thank you, thank you. In today's video, we're doing another hack and you guys are liking the hack series, I can tell. Just judging from the watch time on that playlist, it's pretty hot. So. Today we're talking about Tums. So a common hack I've been seeing is the addition of Tums to your soil. And I think it's fitting this time of year because there's probably people starting to see a little bit of blossom and rot on their tomatoes and peppers. And they're probably starting to Google exactly what they need to do. And they're probably reading a calcium deficiency and they read that Epsom salt isn't very good. And so they're thinking, well, I gotta get calcium in my soil. So Tums is the solution. No. Well, we'll get into it. So you probably already know what I'm going to say. If you've been on this channel long enough, you're gonna know the whole spiel about pH and calcium and how the ideal range for a pH is between a 6.3-ish and a 7.5. If your pH is not within that realm, your calcium availability plummets. If your calcium availability plummets, you end up with blossom and rot. This is very common. If you do not have a pH meter, it is probably safe to say it is more likely a pH issue if you have something like a peat-based soil or a soil that is heavy in compost or manure that has not fully been de degraded and is still decomposing in the soil itself. The reason being is both peat moss, compost, and manure that's not fully degraded actually lowers the pH and makes it a little bit more acidic and takes it out of that seven range, which affects your calcium availability. But if you're confident your pH is okay and you're literally just here for the hack part of it, let's get into that. Calcium is readily available in the soil. In North America, there is a ton of calcium in the soil, including magnesium. But the reason for that is because our soil is relatively young here in North America. Calcium in the soil comes in the form of gypsum, which is a rock that's just been degraded. As soil gets weathered down, the bedrock gets weathered down, the existing rocks around it get weathered down, it adds calcium to the soil. But people who add tums to the soil are worried that calcium is not in abundance to the point that their plants can thrive. Tums is calcium bicarbonate, which by definition has 0.3 grams of calcium per tum tablet thing. And that means 40% of each tablet is pure calcium. Because this is calcium bicarbonate, it will do zero harm to your plant. So is there a harm in adding it? No. Um, I don't know what's in the flavored tablets, uh, but if there's any salt in it, then obviously steer away from it. But there is calcium in Tums, um, and it's pretty pure calcium with the carbon uh, bicarbonate in there, which is not harmful at all to the plant. But will it harm your plant? Absolutely not. How many Tums do you need to alleviate your blossom and rot woes? And it's going to depend on your soil test, which is going to tell you your pH is too low, but I digress. If it shows that your calcium is too low in your potting soil, for example, you will have to add your calcium, your the amount of tums accordingly. There's no uh, prescription for the number of tums you can put in, and I'm not even gonna give you the, the prescription for the amount of tums per pot to add, because it would be enormously expensive to do. So if you're worried about calcium, you think that you're lacking it and it's not a pH issue, don't start throwing tums in your pot, you will go broke. Find an alternative such as gypsum or any sort of alternative at the store. Do not use eggshells, 
We already did that hack series. If you haven't watched that hacks part of the series, go watch that video now. But do I think Tums is a viable garden hack? No. Do I just because purely because of the cost that it it's just enormously expensive to be able to substitute that much calcium with Tums. Do I think it's gonna harm your plant if you've done it or you're thinking about doing it? No. Um, if you wanna experiment with it, go ahead. Let me know in the comments below how many Tums you added to a six inch pot, for example. But I would probably start with pH if you were experiencing any sort of calcium deficiency. So, as always, the Garden Hack series is super short and super viral. I don't really have much more to say about it. I found zero studies done on Tums. I found very little professional gardeners talking about Tums. And uh, yeah, there's just not a lot out there. But from a soil scientist perspective, Tums will not harm your garden. And it's just an expensive alternative to something like gypsum which you can get, you can get it, it's online. Um, I don't use it because again, the likelihood of your soil blacking that is really, really low. And I would start with pH before you get into the whole adding of Tums thing. Okay, I feel like I repeated myself like a billion times. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.